Hey guys, I've been asked to do a couple diamond problems as a review of diamond problems and from previous assignment. Uh, specifically taking these diamond problems from that uh, initial CPM packet um, in August 31st. I think it was number nine is the one I'm going to look at and then as well number 10. So number nine and number 10. So number nine had fractions as the numbers and number 10 as well in this case had a fraction as one of the numbers and the um, sum as the bottom number there so remember diamond problems right so this is always the product on top of these two numbers the numbers are on the side right product and then the sum is the one on the bottom. So product and sum. So if we look at these two fractions, let's start with number nine. First of all, product, multiplying fractions, you multiply fractions straight across. So one seventh times one half. Well, one times one is one on top. And then seven times two gives you 14. And then we've got a positive number, right? Times, or times a negative number, which makes it a negative product. So the top is negative 1 14th. The sum, a little trickier, the sum, in order to add fractions, you've got to have da, 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 common denominator. Okay, so I need a denominator that's the same. So I got to take and convert 1 7th into something and 1 half into something, all right, that has the same denominator. So what's the common multiple here the smallest the least common multiple is 14. how do we get there using the big giant one right so the big giant one is multiplying top and bottom by the same thing so what i'm going to multiply by in this case is two over two so one seventh times two over two is two fourteenth so then the same thing multiply by the big giant one down here which would be seven over seven so 7 over 7 times 1 half gives you uh, 7 fourteenths. So now what I have is I've got 2 fourteenths and 7 fourteenths, except don't forget this 7 fourteenths actually is negative. So what, if I'm going to add those two, if I'm going to take, now I'm looking at 2 fourteenths and I'm adding that to negative 7 fourteenths. So when you add, we have the common denominator. So the denominator is going to stay the same. But the numerators add 2 and negative 7 give you negative 5. So negative 5 fourteenths on the bottom, negative 1 fourteenth on top. So that's number 9. So number 10, again, we're looking at now. It's a little trickier because now I'm looking for the sum. So this is the sum. So I have a situation here where I'm looking at 1 fifth plus something is equal to three halves. Huh. So I've got to figure out what that something is. What is my missing number over here? And that's what this is. What is that missing number? Well, if you look at this as an equation and rewrite it having a variable, you could say one fifth plus X from solving for X or solving for N or solving for Y or whatever variable we want to use. If I'm going to solve that, what do you do to figure that out? You would subtract one-fifth from both sides. That's how you're going to find x. So x is going to equal two three-halves minus one-fifth. Well, again, here we have a situation where I need common denominator. So I'm going to convert this to have a denominator of 10 and convert that to have a denominator of 10. Multiplying by the big giant one on both, 5 over 5 is what I would multiply this one by, right? So I'd get 15 over 10. And then I would multiply this one by 2 over 2. 2 over 2 because you had 5 times 2 is 10. So that gives me negative 2 over here. So if I'm, com if I'm taking 15 tenths minus 2 tenths, x would be 13 tenths. Okay, so that is my unknown over here is 13 tenths. And then once I have that number on this side, Remember, the top is always the product. So multiply those two. Multiply straight across. 1 times 13, 13. 5 times 10, 50. So that's the two numbers that go into those. Okay. Hope that helps.